Falls. It's near a place called Caesarea Philippi. And as you can tell, it just has torrents of water coming over the top of it. Over in John chapter 10, Jesus, when he's speaking on the Temple Mount, has just seen a priest pour out a pitcher of water on top of the Temple Mount on the last great day of Sukkot, or one of their great feasts. And it's a great time of rejoicing. They pour the water out, and it, it's the knowledge of God that will cover the, the earth and like torrents of water. And that's what it's supposed to mean. Jesus, on the other hand, stands up there at exactly the same time, and he says, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink, and out of him will pour torrents of living water. That's the effect of the Holy Spirit. John even said so when he wrote that part in his gospel because he said the, the Holy Spirit hadn't yet been given. What you're looking at behind me is living water, and those are torrents of water, living water, water that's moving. Dead water would be water from a cistern, water from a, uh, from a well, something that's stagnant, possibly polluted. But would you rather drink from that, or would you rather drink from this? This is living water. But when I think of living water coming out of somebody, and Jesus saying torrents of living water will come out of him, I think of it like a fire hydrant that's open on a hot day in New York and all the kids playing in it. And we really get a sense of it in America from that. But they didn't have fire hydrants in Jesus' day. But they did have this. There are other waterfalls in Israel, but none quite as big as this one. But this is magnificent. And Jesus and the disciples definitely came up this direction, at least on one occasion, if not several. Well, this is Banyas Falls, and it gives me a sense of what God expects to come out of us when we're filled with the Holy Spirit. He's not talking about lemon juice or prune juice coming out of us. He's talking about something that's refreshing, something that's delightful, something that people will love and highly crave, even if they hate you for it. This is the effect of the Holy Spirit when we're filled and out of us comes Him. It's refreshing to all those around us first to the people of God, and then to the whole world. May we be like this, even on our down days, even on our up days, when we're in the world or when we're in church. May we be this to all the people that we run into. It's such a beautiful place, and I think Jesus probably had something like this in mind when he was speaking to his disciples and everyone else. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink, and out of him will flow torrents of living water. That's the work of the Holy Spirit, and you're looking at a fantastic example of it. God bless you.